Latte, okay. uh, leche normal, okay. doble, okay. para aquí, okay. la fuerza. Doble tamaño, doble no, no. carga. Doble carga. Doble carga. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Y para aquí, eh, como tiene. Así. ¿Agua? No, no. Uh, okay. Sí, sí. ¿Este medio o chico? Ok. Es, esto es chico. Este. ¿Y medio? Tiene, no. me... Chico y grande. Juan, ¿Y grande como? A ah, ese grande. Okay. Ah, ah. Chico. Correcto. Chico. ¿Pagar ahora o después? No, al final. Al final. Ok, gracias. Oh, look at this. I must be at the right place. Oh, that's it. We're not so bad. They even have sandwiches. This is the place. I'm gonna get a seat outside. Cheers. I hope you're having a coffee too. Um, so as I was saying, I uh, just arrived last night from Pasco. Never been to Puebla. And I really don't know what Puebla is noted for. I know that it's uh, an important town, that it's close to Mexico City. I think it's within two hours. Um, 
but I, I've been doing a little bit of reading and I hear that it's a real food town. So this is a place to come if you like to eat. And I'm sure there's other attractions. But apparently mole, which is a traditional Mexican meal, was, uh, was developed here, was invented here. So I'm definitely going to try that. Looking forward to that. And uh, apparently there's a, a wrestling match tonight. So I'm probably going to check that out. And Mexican wrestling, I think from what I understand, what I've seen is a, a pretty crazy uh, thing. Should be quite the spectacle. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to going to that uh, to that wrestling match. I, I hope I get in. Uh, apparently, you can buy tickets at two o'clock. So we'll see. If it happens, it happens. So yeah. So let me just start my day and kind of get myself figured out where I'm going, what I'm doing. Uh, I just, I just dropped off my laundry. And again, uh, another another pro tip for those of you who come from Mexico. Most hotels will do your laundry, but it will cost you. So if you're looking for a more inexpensive uh, way to do your laundry, because if you're traveling over weeks, you know, you, you accumulate laundry. And I had a big bag full of laundry that had to be done. It was getting pretty bad. And I usually wait till I have a bag full because it's not worth it to do it for a couple of items. Um, my recommendation is, is go onto Google Maps and look up uh, laundry. And usually there's a few, like within 200 to 300 meters. So within a few blocks, a couple of blocks, you're going to find a laund laundromat. They usually open at 8.30. And uh, I mean, they're all different. Some of them do it by weight. Some of them do it by item. But most do it by weight. They kind of, you know, if it's under a kilo, it's so much. If it's over a kilo, it's so much. And it usually ends up being pretty cheap. I mean, I paid as little as 30 pesos, you know, which is like a dollar and a half. Um, but if you if you do it at a hotel, they'll charge you like 10 pesos for a shirt, you know, 10 pesos for a piece of underwear. It kind of adds up if you have a big bag of it. So if you're looking to save money when you're traveling, I recommend just walking over to a laundry. And most of them will have it done. If you drop it off by like 8.30 or so, they'll have it done by 5. And it'll be really nice. They'll be folded. And most of them are really good. Uh, I would recommend that if you have some important clothes that you take a note of what they are. I have heard of stories of, uh, yeah, like clothes gone missing. So uh, if you have like an important t-shirt or, you know, something that's notable, that's sentimental, I would just make a little note or you could just count before you leave and say, yeah, I got four pairs of underwear, four t-shirts, you know, two shirts, you know, like write it all down so that when you go to pick it up, you could do a, you can reconcile it and make sure that you actually got everything back. You know, I, I don't think it's intentional, but I think with all the laundry they handle, maybe they make, they make a mistake or something. So this is the Artist's Quarter in Puebla. It's a landmark and uh, apparently uh, a really nice place. Some uh, beautiful sculptures are here. Artists making things.
Buenos días. I'm a bit early, so there's not a lot of action going on. Like usual, I get up too early. And uh, not much is going on. Things in Mexico really start picking up after in the afternoon. Another artist. I believe this is where artists hang out to make things. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. There's an exhibition upstairs somewhere. Café de las Artistas. I have to say that uh, Mexican culture is very artistic and they value the arts, they put a lot of value on it, much more than the West I believe, especially when it comes to like local uh, artists, like everyday artists. Want to see us? You can see it in their music. They're very, um, very attached to their musical tradition. I mean, Friday nights and Saturday nights in most of these places, it's live music. <laughs> Some traditional breakfast that I'm probably not going to have at the moment. Gracias. And things are just setting up right now. I did have this one landmark in mind for breakfast, so. I think I might wander over there eventually. Let's see it. Really uh, nice things here to buy if you're into it. Some pottery. You need a big suitcase. <laughs> and I'm traveling light. You want to see us? Museo de la Caldera Poblana. Some kind of museum. Probably drop in a little later.
see us. Yeah, pottery seems to be big here. Si, si, gracias. Yeah, a lot of pottery. Again, you need a big suitcase. So I still haven't figured out where I'm going next. I'm kind of deciding between uh, Oaxaca back to the Yucatan head back to Mexico City to uh, Giroquan a few options and I still haven't kind of made up my mind and hopefully in the next couple of days I will Sweet Central San Cristobal Nice jewelry I think I'm heading. Uh, I think I'm heading to the uh, Ozo Ozona, which is like the center. Puebla. Anytime I see these big churches, like you can see in the distance, I'm uh, getting close to a center. So if you ever get disoriented in a Mexican city or town. Uh, a good idea to look for a big church if you can spot one just walk towards the big church and you eventually get to the center ah, this is the place this is the place ho oh, oh. ho empty. I know what it is about people. They don't seem to get up early here. It's supposed to be open. I think it is. So it'll be fun to wander around here a little later when it's not uh, when it's a little bit more busy. Uh, right now it seems to be not very busy and not very exciting. So we'll come back later to it. Hola, buenos días. Ah, uh, no, y lavas manos. Okay, la temperatura. Adelante, por favor, con el gusto, ¿puede ser de este lado o de este lado? Ah, ok. Este lado, por favor. Buenos días. Uh, me quiero chilequiles. Ok, rojos o verdes. Rojos con... Uh, Arrachera, pepina, pollo o huevo. 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 Y huevo es dos, dos okay. huevos estrellados, okay. bien estrellados, y uh, tiene humo uh, verde, sí, sí, humo verde, yeah. sí, todo por ahora, okay. después café más por ahora, okay. de quiles, huevos y humo verde. Ok, su desayuno viene con jugo y fruta, ¿está bien? Sí, fruta Ok, sí. y ¿qué sería más? Eh, que vengan con 
crema, queso, sí. aguacate, cebolla. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Uh, carne, no, pollo, no. Sí. So this is my breakfast. The two fried eggs, some chilaquiles, a little bit of refried beans, and my humo verde. I didn't ask for the orange juice, but they brought it anyway, so I guess it's included in the meal. So this is what it is. So uh, I'm gonna have it. Let's see where we go from there. See you soon. Like uh, many Mexican towns and cities, there's a very healthy street life. People uh, out and about doing their business. Shops are open. Yeah, yeah people are going about their lives. Thank <laughs> you. 
Must be an anniversary of this section. Fascinating. Too bad they don't have an English version. Yes, this must be the most historic area here. Hola, buenos dias. Corta uñas. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna buy myself some nail clippers. Más grande? Este es 23. 23. Este es bueno, fuerte. Sí. 23. Okay. Hasta que era de la comida. No, solo. I finally get to cut my nails. This looks like a beauty store it's where you come to get all your hair products and beauty products. Gracias. Okay, got more change to play with. Muy gracias. Okay. Buenos días. Buenos días. The other thing about Mexicans you got to realize is they're very friendly. So if you say good morning, good afternoon, they very, they're very happy and they smile and they, they uh, greet you back. Not like some places where they look at you like you're an idiot. I don't know about that doll. <laughs> Doesn't look happy. So like I was saying, uh, as far as restrictions here, there really are none, except you do. Hola. Uh, except you do see people wearing masks all over the place. I think 90% of people wear masks all the time, and I don't know. I'm not sure quite why that's why that is. I mean, it's pretty obvious now that they don't do much of anything, but I think it makes them feel safe. The other thing they do, I notice, which is uh, I'm a little disturbed is they're constantly wiping hand sanitizer on themselves. Constantly. I mean, even when they don't have to, they just pour it on like it's like, like it's anti-wrinkle cream or something. I have no idea. But they're constantly putting hand sanitizer on themselves. And it, I mean, this stuff is disgusting. I refuse to use it. And what I do is I wash my hands soap and water wash my hands that hand sanitizer stuff i don't know what's in it i don't want to know what's in it 
I'm definitely not using it. So wash your hands. That's something that uh, they like to do here. Okay, let's put this down. This way, is it this way? Is it this way? This way? <laughs> I can never tell. Alright, I think it's this way. I think we overshot it by one block. Body. A little red riding uh, outfit for to spice up your life. Um, Yes. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Coca. Ah. Coca. Ah, Coca. Hasta luego. Those are got to be the cutest kids ever. Mexican kids are so cute. And this is why you don't buy uncut fruit. The reason is right there. You can see all the flies on them. Don't buy uncut fruit. Have them cut it in front of you. Watch them do it. Está <laughs> cerrado. It's closed. Está cerrado todo. Lunes no abre museo. Lunes no abre Ah, no, okay. Mar, de martes a domingo. Martes, miércoles, jueves de 10 a 5. Ah. Viernes, sábado y domingo de 10 a 6. Gracias. Lunes, cerrado museo. Sí. Okay, thank you. All right, she just told me that Mondays museums are closed. There you go. Wandering around for now. It happens. Oh, well. I'll make my way back. Maybe I can, uh, wow, look at that. Coins. I guess it's a place to come to buy cheap stuff. You know, you, if you need to buy underwear or, you know, masks or whatever, this is a place to, to come. These are the hats. Este chico tiene grande. Los 50, 50 pesos. Same as a chico. Small, too small. I have a big head, bro.